Kids, it's time to talk recession. We've been talking about the economy and financial system being vulnerable to a collapse for a very long time, and, it's, and it really has been close, coming. Unfortunately, every day that the collapse is delayed, well, the eventual collapse will just be worse and worse. Eventually, there will be an explosion that will devastate the world and lead to chaos, confusion, death, destruction, and war. Lots and lots of war. In fact, it has begun already. By the time that you see it, it will be too late to do anything about it. So let's hit some of the recession headlines that we saw over the past week. China Premier vows no massive stimulus as Beijing launch, launches massive stimulus from Zero Hedge. Wait, China says one thing and actually does the opposite? Where have we heard this kind of thing before? Housing slump, foreclosure activity jumps in Austin, Miami, San Diego, and Seattle. Again, Zero Hedge. This is a very bad headline for those of you hoping for a bright economy for 2019. I believe that the recession has already started. Then Mark Faber appears on Greg Hunter's USA Watchdog YouTube channel in a video titled, Mark Faber, Huge Asset Bubble Will Be Deflated. The one big point that you need to take away from this conversation is that money printing will lift markets. How long is hard to say. But a recession won't necessarily cause a stock market crash, so be careful about shorting markets that are being given artificial support. Then there's this one from Zero Hedge. Core U.S. factory orders tumble for a third straight month. Three straight months of declines in core factory orders? I call that an ouch. Then Chris Chappell, my favorite commenter on all things Chinese, came out with this YouTube video on the China Uncensored channel about zombie companies, which is a real thing that we finance people talk about. And the video is titled, Zombie Company Apocalypse Looms in China. By the way, if you want to know what I would love to turn the Shockcast into, this kind of video is it, the one that we're gonna, I'm talking about. But no, I'm, I'm not going there, at least not yet. However, this video is valuable since it talks about the zombie companies. This is the big problem for any economy, which is why we need recessions or even depressions. They wipe out the zombies and allow better companies to take their place. Zombie companies eat up the resources that bright-eyed and bushy-tailed young companies could use and use more efficiently. But since the zombies are protected, the bright young companies get squashed by the zombies and have their brains eaten. And I'm afraid that China has a lot of zombies. America does too, but not as many as China does. So don't let the zombies eat your brains. Then we have FedEx is talking as if a global recession has already begun and the numbers back that up. I seem to be quoting Michael Snyder a lot this week, but he has had a lot to say that is important for you to read. And FedEx is pointing to economic numbers that indicate that the global part of the recession is already here. But is this recession in America yet? I think so. But how about you? Let me know in the comments section below. Then there is this piece from the much more optimistic website, Northman Trader. It's titled, Recession is Coming. I've already quoted the author of this piece, Sven Henrich, or yeah, I think it's Sven Henrich, but I don't need to do more than point you to the title. If you need details, go ahead and read this article, but brace yourself for some trouble. Sven says that it's coming. I say that it's here. I hope that Sven is right. Then we see the brick wall that we just hit in an article from the website mhansen.com. The article is titled 321 Hansen, Massive House Price Growth Deceleration, a brick wall. There are two things that you need to know or to think about from this article. Number one, there's a big sign that the recession is already here. Number two, housing prices in the U.S. are insane. The proof for number one in this is in this quote from the article, quote, the only thing that even comes close to this sharp of, uh, of deceleration was circa 2007, close quote. Whoa, you do not want to hear that. 
I mean, you remember the Great Recession that happened in 2007, right? Right? And then there's proof for number two about the insanity over housing prices. It's in the psychology that wants housing prices to keep accelerating. You can look at these prices all day long and not really understand what you are seeing. The scary thought is that there are so many people who want to see housing prices continue to accelerate as if this is a good thing. It is not a good thing. Do these people stop and think about what continuously accelerating housing prices mean for new families and those struggling to put enough food on the table for their kids? Continuously accelerating housing prices spells death for American families, period. Then we have one more bit of global recession proof from Zero Hedge in an article titled German Manufacturing Craters Sending Bond Yields Negative. Germany has an obsessively export-driven economy. So when you see German manufacturing decline like this, you know that the world economy is in bad shape.